What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. We're about to begin the most epic culinary battle of the century. We have the most badass girl in the slums, Lynn, against the cutest, most giving, and nicest person in the world, Rosary. Actually, Lynn actually looks rather confident if you look at the face, but uh, Rosary's like, yeah, she's just having fun. She's just, you know, she's having, she's doing it for pleasure, not necessarily just to win. Whereas Lynn's like, I gotta prove a point, but I kind of got this in the bag as well. So yeah, let us continue. Rosane, are you sure it's okay to cook without my help? Oh, so that's what happens. Julia always helps Rosary. Julia runs towards her, concerned by the awkward way Rosary is holding the knife. I follow Julia as Alan and Myrna's reaction uh, made her worry. <laughs> Thank you, Julia, but it's all right. Sit down there and wait until I'm done. Uh, okay. Rosary, I want to ask you something. What do you want to ask? Rosary, what are you going to make? I was going to make it a surprise, but I'll go ahead and tell you. I just got some nice fresh fish, so I'm going to make fish and chips. Oh, of course. Typical Brit. Rosary hums and puts fish on the cutting board. Slash, 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 she's cutting up that fish. Rosary swings the knife at the fish. The fish on the cutting board are dismembered into different shapes and sizes. <laughs> oh, look at the fish. I actually kind of have a... I pity the fish a little bit, like he's, help me, help me, and then chuck. Oh, poor fishy. Hey, I'm not really an expert on the fish and chips, but aren't you supposed to take the guts out? I have no idea, actually, but it's not good to be picky. So I'm going to use them as they are. What? Even I know that and I suck at cooking. Julia? Are you supposed to gut fish before you cook them? Yes. I think you are. Don't worry about me so much you two. They're fresh. So there won't be a problem. <laughs> I don't think the issue was that whether the guts were fresh or not. It's just the fact that they are guts, you know. Which is something that... Most people rather would not eat. Hey, Rosary, did you forget to season them? Rosary is about to put pieces of fish coated with breading into a pot full of boiling oil. She didn't even scale them. Oh my god. <laughs> Julia and I gave up on pointing that out. <laughs> Food from my country use, uh, uses the only, only the best ingredients. So this will be the best fish and chips ever. Uh, I've actually watched a lot of MasterChef, yeah, and it's not really. You can have all the most expensive ingredients that you want in the world, but that doesn't necessarily make the dish delicious. It's just what you do with the food. You can have the cheapest cut of meat or cheapest fish, but if you add something special to it or just flavor a lot of flavors and whatnot, just make it. A harmonious meal then that's gonna be way better than just you know expensive fish or expensive meat being butchered and not even cooked with love and care and whatnot so I would personally say that most of the time it's not the ingredients that make the food delicious it's just the way that you cook the stuff Julia must think the same but she, because she stopped saying anything I think it's a little late to be asking this, but Julia, were you the one doing all the cooking? Yes. Rosane is not very good at cooking, so... A surprising truth. It's worse than not very good as far as I can see from Rosary. Hmm. I glance at the table and make eye contact with Alan. <laughs> Alan nods in silence. He must be telling me to prepare myself. Oh yeah, <laughs> right, because it's going to be me and Alan tasting the food and yeah, it now it just depends. Hopefully Lin's, can, Lin's food can sort of balance it out 
to at least make it a decent meal. As for Lin. Oh, sleepy. Hey Lin, what are you doing now? I'm making soup. Can't you see that? Various bones and vegetable, uh, vegetables are boiling in a big pot. All you're doing is chewing a bunch of stuff, huh? Yeah, I found good beef bones in the storage cupboard. Uh, Rosary went against my expectations in the worst way, but your effort is still underwhelming. Don't knock it till you try it, Lin says while skimming the top of the soup. Rosary did basically no preparation and threw everything in hot oil while Lin is making a soup out of vegetables and cracked bones. My stomach aches just thinking about the results. Oh no, this is not gonna be good. No! Rosane, shut off the heat! I just heard Rosary and Julia screaming, but I should just ignore them. I'll be a lot happier that way. Oh, look at this. I mean, looking at it on a plate, it doesn't really look that bad. But then again, it, we're looking at it from a distance. So, And she covered everything in breading anyway, right? So you can't, it's hard to tell them whether something is actually cooked well or not. So, oh my god, considering that everything, everyone else is crying. I don't know why Tadayoshi looks so happy though, but... I'm guessing he hasn't tasted the food yet. The moment he does, he's going to be crying along with them. Okay, I'm done. Rosary's meal is done first, and it's on the table. What? Oh, really? Hey, don't you think it's a little rude to act that surprised? I just can't believe this. I was prepared to see something horrible, but it looks like a proper, tasty plate of fish and chips. Looks can be deceiving though. I swear I could even hear an explosion. How is this possible? Am I dreaming? Rosary's fish and chips look so good as if that explosion didn't even happen. Or, get this yeah, the explosion made the food taste or, or look better. Seems rather unlikely, I know, but if you were looking at everything how Rosary is cooking before, it wouldn't be too strange to think that the explosion might have actually helped her rather than hindered her food, so it could be unlikely, but who knows. I gaze at Alan and Myrna, silently accusing them of tricking me. Rosane's meals look good, but that's the only good thing about them. Alan, are you playing around with me? It smells good too. Tarayoshi-san. If you eat it, you understand. Even Julia, who absolutely adores Rosary, is wearing a sad expression. It looks and smells very good, so I'm sure it should taste great. I don't know what makes the children so scared of Rosary's meals. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed by, the, by thy name, thy kingdom come. What's wrong with you, Myrna? Why are you all praying all of a sudden? I've never seen you do that so politely. Myrna always jumps right in and battles Alan and me for food, but now clasps her hands, closes her eyes, and prays. Hehe, <laughs> I quite liked you, Tarayoshi. I was so happy to have a big brother. Tarayoshi-san, Hey, what are you saying, Alan? Why are you sobbing, Julia? Oh my god, this could very well be my last meal. The kids are acting like I'm going to die. What's wrong, everyone? Please eat before it gets cold. Rosary doesn't seem to know what's going on. I know, but I think your prince, Tadayoshi, should do it. I'll eat later. Y yeah, he should do it. Yeah. Come on. It looks so good. I won't give you any if you ask me later. I'm concerned because the kids are so worried about me, but I can't resist eating something that smells so delicious. Let's eat. I stab a piece of fish with my fork, then put it into my mouth. Uh-oh. The moment of truth. What? Mmm. As I taste it, 
My vision goes wide. <laughs> I'm transported to an empty, wide world. I see an old couple smiling in the distance. Grandpa? Grandma, why are you here? When I was in the Kurokawa mansion, Grandpa and Grandma always comforted me. I know they both died a long time ago. Grandpa! Grandma! I start to run towards them. No! Don't run towards the light! That's always the worst thing you can do. As soon as they notice me, they gesture at me to go back. Tadayoshi! Don't come here yet! You shouldn't come here! It looks like they are shouting something, but I can't hear them. Yoshi sama don't go! Whoa, Nina, you scared me! But why are you here? My fiancé appears in front of me in her wheelchair. Yoshi sama you must not go further! Turn back now, you still have a chance! Nina? She looks so serious, which is a rare expression for her. Please, Tadayoshi-sama, I beg you to hear my words. Okay, if you insist. It's sad to miss a chance to see my grandma and grandpa, but I think Nina is definitely right. My premonitions are always right in situations like these. Tadayoshi! Wake up, please! Wake up! Oh my god, look at his face! <laughs> huh? What happened to me? I'm so glad you're alive, Tadayoshi-san. Now I'm back at the table. Children look at me with tears in their eyes. Tadayoshi-kun, you were rushing too much. Yeah, that was the problem. <laughs> rushing too much? What do you mean? There are empty plates on the table. Don't you remember what you did? Tadayoshi, you ignored our warnings and you ate Rosane's food all by ourselves or by uh, yourself. You've been too reckless. Huh? I, I ate it? I ate Rosary's cooking? I only remember taking one bite. I don't know what really happened. Rosane's prince can eat her cooking. That's great! Yeah, you've just earned my utmost respect, Tadayoshi. Huh? What? I don't get it. I feel like I've been left behind. It's like someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> you know what could have happened? We just completely blacked out for like 5 seconds and then uh, in an effort to make herself feel better, to make it seem like we ate all the food, Rosary, knowing that it was going to be not that yummy. She then quickly got rid of all the food to make it seem like we ate everything. But then again, I have a feeling that Rosary actually genuinely, think, genuinely thinks that her food was good. But it seems that we think that way as well, although we don't know what exactly happened, but apparently we ate all of it. Alright, my stuff's next. And now I have to eat Lin's cooking. Oh, don't talk so negatively until, until you've seen it. Try it before you judge. Lin puts large bowls on the table. Oh, that actually looks delicious. Dang. Oh, you made ramen? Amber colored broth, wavy noodles, sliced leeks, and a hard boiled egg. Now I get why she used beef bones. It smells good enticing me to eat, but so did rosaries. I still have to be careful. Children are also wary of Lin's ramen. Eat it before the noodles go soggy. Lin tells everyone this in a slightly angry tone. Here goes nothing. It smells so great. I think Rosane's stuff may have been a special case. Uh, is it safe to eat? Won't I pass out like Tode, uh, Tadayoshi just did? Mirna-chan, that comment is rude to the person who made it. Why are you all so careful about it? It looks so delicious. 
Rosary smiles and looks at Lin's soup. Let's eat! I swallow some of the noodles at once with a slithering noise. Mmm. I've never tasted anything like it in a good way. It's delicious! I've never had such awesome food before! It's so delicious! Wah! Wait! Why am I crying? It's so tasty! Lin, you win! Oh! Alan repeats himself. Mirna cries. Rosary admits her defeat. And Julia is speechless. Y you are awesome, Lin! You are indeed good at cooking! Did you see? Just because I choose not to cook, doesn't mean I suck at it. Lin talks back to me, maintaining her poker face, while everyone praises her meal. But wait! I see her lip twitching. I guess she's trying to hide her joy. Delicious! Mirna shouts so loudly, I'm expecting some sort of spectacular effect to appear behind her. Um... <sighs> Alan is enamored by the flavor of the noodles. She used beef bones to make a broth, but used stewed vegetables to eliminate any odor and the noodles. Julia, whom I recently discovered is the church's official chef, murders to herself as she eats her ramen. It's really delicious, Lin. You're such a good cook. Hey, Lin. Will you cook for me every day? I idiot! You're too young to ask me such a thing! Lin blushes at my words. I just praised her, so I don't know why she is upset. Ah, Tarayoshi-kun, you really lack delicacy when it comes to women. Boo! Tarayoshi! Rosary is astonished, and Mirna is puffing out her cheeks. Wait! I didn't say anything bad to her. Don't you agree, Julia? Wh what? I think uh, Tanayoshi-san should try to understand women better. Even Julia commented negatively about me. I want a refill! Alan is still wolfing down ramen. I don't think he'll be much help now. Damn it, Alan! <laughs> oh my god, it's four against one! <laughs> I mean, this is a battle we as guys would lo lose anyway because, you know, the only person Tadayoshi would have on his side is Alan. And then we're up against four girls. Like, yeah, no way in hell we're ever gonna win that. Tadayoshi, sit! Woof! Huh? Sit here! No! Okay. And then she's like, good boy, she pets her head. I don't know why. I had to obey her. She looks really serious. Tadayoshi, you are Rosane's prince, and don't you forget it. I don't remember being Rosary's prince, but I can't talk back to Mirna. In this place, a man's pride means nothing. I know Lin Lin. Haha, <laughs> Lin Lin. Lin Lin is beautiful and good at cooking, but you shouldn't cheat on Rosane. Lin Lin? Lin Lin? She's got some guts to address her that way. Look, Lin cannot unleash her anger on a child. Lin Lin, <laughs> it sounds funny. <laughs> I can't help it. Just the thought of the nickname makes me want to burst out laughing. Lin seems to have realized what I'm thinking and is glaring sharply. I think the training is about to get tough. Tana Yoshi. Are you listening to me? Mirna scolds me like a mother-in-law. Oh, Rosary and that boy are in one of those relationships. A nun who can be swayed romantically. What kind of girl are you? <laughs> th th that's not true. Mirna just started it. Tadayoshi-kun and I are not romantically involved at all. Lin mocks Rosary with a grin like a teasing parent and Rosary desperately denies it. Lin must have had a secret girlish side if she takes an interest in stuff like this. Oh, really? <laughs> Lin, you agree with Mirna? Tanayoshi-kun is like a little brother to me. 
He's a member of my family. I'm older than Rosary, though. Huh? Hey, what's with that reaction, Lin? Hero was thinking that you're way older than this kid. I'm not. And did you say way older? I'm still 14. F 14? Are you kidding me? I thought you and I were the same age. How old are you then, Lin? You shouldn't ask a woman that. I'm 20. What's it to you? Tara Yoshi kun! It's very rude to ask a woman's age. Exactly. Whack! Ah, I actually slapped my, myself on the back of the head just now. Bad idea. Ow! I'm sorry! It's impossible to dodge Rosary's fists. There was no way I could predict her moves. She hits where it hurts the most, and I think she hit me harder than usual this time. Ah, uh, do I look that old? Uh, I don't think so. What do you think, Lin? You don't look old, but you're mentally mature, exactly. Lin and I tried to cheer Rosary up. I am indeed older than her, but Rosary actually runs the family and the church and I happen to depend on Rosary sometimes. I think it's safe to change the sometimes with most of the time, if not always. Tara Yoshi, don't bully Rosane. Tara Yoshi son, you disappoint me. Uh, I'm sorry. Please don't look at me that way. I expect that look from Myrna, but not Julia. Tara Yoshi, you lack shiftless. Huh? Alan, I guess you just wanted to use a word you learned from a book. The pleasant times fly by. Everyone scolded me in the end, but somehow I found it entertaining. The sun has already set before I know it. I can make my own way home, so you should go back inside, boy. I leave the church with Lin to see her off. Are you sure it's okay for you to go back alone? You look so tired. No problem. It's just been a while since I've been somewhere this lively. It tires me out a bit. If you say so. And if you come with me, you'll have to walk back to the church alone. That worries me more. She's right. If I walked home alone, I'd pretty, uh, I'd pretty much be asking someone to jump me. I think we all know who that someone is, right? <clears throat> Jumpsuit guy. If anything happens to you, everyone at the church will be sad. Will they? Yeah. Rosary and her children love you with all their hearts. I'm sure they really do. Lin seems to be confident about that. I'm not sure if it's possible to understand that much in just a few short hours. Uh-huh. Be careful on the way back, Lin. You know I'm older than you. Don't treat me like a kid. And another thing. Ah, never mind. Never mind? What were you going to say? I wanted to say thanks. It was fun. Lin whispers something, then leaves, waving as she goes. I stay standing there until she's disappeared from view. I think her drowsiness was contagious. Soothing exhaustion courses throughout my body. I never had any moments even remotely this fun back at Kurokawa Mansion. I hope this goes on forever. I return to the church with that on my mind. Like all these fun moments just really make it seem like they're they're a family even though they don't know each other that long. It just I don't know, it really feels like a close knit and tight family. Wow, months later? I was thinking about continuing, but seeing as there's such a big gap in, in time, I'm gonna end the video here and then we'll just start from here in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.